Uh, king of the slick up. Hey, call me Lord of the Chain, God of the wristwatch. Fashion be your movie. I'm... Rum Nitty vs. A Ward. It's, it's going, going down. One. That's going to be the one. Yo, Rum Nitty vs. A Ward. I think, I think Rum Nitty needs a bar about how I went from the church to the strip club. Did it really do that, though? Yeah, that was the address, wasn't it? Well, then both of them gonna have both of them gonna have church to the strip club bars. It's this this right here is gonna be a very interesting battle. Yeah. A Ward, A Ward is an angler that doesn't get credit for his angles. Mm-hmm. I have not seen A Ward when he battles the no names. He be having he, angles for the no names. No, but he doesn't. He kind of doesn't like. But he, <laughs> he might look at their battles and if he sees something, he might throw it in there. But anytime he battles one of y'all niggas, mm-hmm. he's he has the angles. Yeah. That's when he really angle executes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean he know well. You know what? Even for the no names, but he knows how to ring IQ. Shout out Jay yeah. Black again. Yeah. Ring IQ. He go in them small rooms. He know what's gonna get them to go. He go in them this room. He knows what's gonna get them to go. Seen him in Philly. He knows what's gonna get them to go. Mm-hmm. Seen him in Cali. He knows what's gonna get them to go. This is ATL. I've seen him in ATL. Max out versus Ill Will. Yeah, I was say Max. He yeah. knows how yeah. to get. He knows how to get people going. Yeah, you know I mean, Just and it's a, and it, and, it, and a lot of times it's angles. I think maybe that's why it didn't work with Ill Will because people ain't worried about no angle with Ill Will. Mm-hmm. There's not no great angle on Ill Will mm-hmm. with Rum Nitty. It's a lot going on right now. It's a lot of speculation that Rum Nitty and URL beefing. Mm-hmm. It's a lot, you know. It's a it's a lot of speculation on this. Then he EFB, he battled Gotti, bop 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 bop. It, it's a lot. That, and the it, last time he was on a riot, he battled Geechee, right? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, that's what he does. That's what I say. He just battled Geechee twice. He battled Geechee mm-hmm. twice. Yeah, you know I mean, you got think. And then he just put out a post today, basically saying. uh Gun title scared of him. Yeah, you know I mean, so he's gonna have call outs. A war coming in that motherfucker for the kill. But, but, the but alien. this nitty house tonight, bro. Yeah. Geechee not on the card. Mm-hmm. Geechee not on the card. The riot belongs to Run Nitty this night. It's 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 it's, it's kind of simple as that. We know who he is. We know what he do. Yeah. And we know that it's a lot going on. Even, yo, I don't know what's going on with Rum Nitty and URL or no other league. I don't. I promise I don't. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, if, it, if it starts to get to the point where fans start to hear the rumblings and shit, it got to be a little bit of truth to something. And we yeah. as artists know, all of us rap, that when it's something on you, you got to get it off. Yeah. You got to get it off. Whether you, whether you literally talk about it. Or just put that energy into whatever you write. You gotta get it off. Mm-hmm. Rum, this Rum Nitty house this night. I expect a great fucking battle. I yeah. expect A Ward to do everything he can do to win. Mm-hmm. But this Rum Nitty house, man, I got Rum Nitty, man. Listen, I got I got Nitty for a lot of them same reasons, man. He been missing off a lot of these URL calls that he would have normally been on. Like I said, I don't know what's going on. Um. And then it's, it's A Ward too. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of who the A Ward is on, he done had a hell of a run. Everybody wants the person that not to the room, or, or at least has the. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to forget Rum Nitty is, is the alien. Rum Nitty can act. Rum Nitty is going to find a way to make a punch you never heard, that you never thought would have been able to make a punch from. You know what I'm saying? And A, a- Ward is going to wrap. Too, he's going to rebuttal, but I think Nitty has added the rebuttal game to his too. So, like I said, like you said, it's, it's, it's Nitty House. I got, I got you on shout out. April. Somebody said, if Nitty lose this, I bet he'd be on KFC next. That's the crazy thing about it. I've never called RBE KFC. I was about to say, what's that? It's RBE. That's what they call RBE. RBE. Nah, nah. That's what they call nah. RBE. Uh, yeah, I mean. We not doing I've it. never called RBE KFC. And we if Nitty ever went over to RBE, more power to him because, like I said, we really about battle rap. But mm-hmm. if if it's, if this is the this is the business of battle rap now, though, niggas is getting paid. I pay my rent off of battle rap. Mm-hmm. I, I personally do. Yeah, you know I mean, off of battle rap. Yeah, you know I mean, so I can't act like I can't understand why motherfuckers wouldn't want to try to fight, squirm, and do what they got to do. Yeah, man, it is what it is. Nitty, I would understand if his problems with your rail, you got to go where that check look big at. Mm-hmm. 
But if that's if that's if that's RBE, if that's GTX, if that's KOTD, if that's fucking who, whatever, if that's me, do a die battle league. Right. Pull up, nigga. Easy Bro, to block. Yeah. Easy to block. Cap got some shit coming up too, man. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but it's it's gonna be exciting. Okay. Yeah, you want you want you weren't supposed to say that. I wasn't. Nah. Okay. All right. Shout out to the Travis. It's verified, verified, verified. And now, uh oh, it's Uh-oh. time mm-hmm. for do we care? Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm showing off, Smith. I'm showing off, Smith. Uh, he got the graphic. Yeah, he got the graphic. I'm showing off, Smith. You feel me? Listen, <laughs> trap alumni, you know what's going on. If you're new to the show, right? Do We Care is the hot take, hot topic, current event portion of the show. We get into everything from movies, music, news, fashion, art, culture, whatever we feel like is fire. The way it works is I scroll through the timeline. I see shit that catches my attention. I say wait three times. Just like this. Wait, wait, wait again. All right. I process it. Ask myself, do I care? Then I say, hold up. Let me bring it to the panel. Let me bring it to the trap chat so we can find out together collectively as a family. But... Do we care or not? All right. Trap chat, are we ready? Panel, are we ready? Let's get it. All right. We, uh, we gonna you, you in the panel. You're the panel. Hmm? You're in the panel. What you mean? Yeah, that's you. When like you panel, panel. Like when you say panel, I'll be ready. It's like pan- you in the oh, panel. Okay. Yeah, I'm here. He here. Oh. All right. So we got he'll talk- work on it. He'll work on it. We're going to talk sports off the rip. We're going to talk the billion dollar man off rip. Y'all should know who I'm talking about when I say that. LeBron James, ladies and gentlemen, 20 years after his initial first solo Sports Illustrated cover, now has another Sports Illustrated cover with his two sons on the front. I believe we have the throwback Sports Illustrated, and we also have the new cover of the sports illustration. Oh shit, my bad. Fuck. I keep forgetting I got to do this part. <laughs> oh, man. Shout out to LeBron though. Uh, okay, so that's that's the new cover right there. The chosen one. The right got got Bronny over there and chosen and forgive son. me, I forget his other son name, but you know what I'm saying? He got his kids on the front of the sports illustrated, man. Either way, right? The do we care in this for me is, okay, we already know LeBron's dream is to play in the NBA with his son. We already see that he's pushing them through the system. Bronny has chose to go the college route as opposed to going pro right away. LeBron shares the Sports Illustrated cover with his sons. But do we care or not? React. Yes, I care. Okay, that's it? You don't want to speak no I, further? I, you I, just, you I, just I, want I, to I care a lot. I actually care a great deal about this. Okay. Um, if LeVar Ball can do it, why can't LeBron? Why not? You know, Skip. You know, um, I, I really, um, I think it's dope, man. Um, actually watching them two play and shit to see them, you know what I'm saying, to what players they turning into and everything like that. Bronny really been doing this thing and shit like that. I got to watch more, you know yeah. what I'm saying, his other son and shit. And, um... But his, his his other son is more of a like finesse player. I think overall, I think he could possibly end up being a better player than Bronny, like all around player. Yeah, I heard the young nigga was better than the yeah. old. I heard, yeah, okay. Yeah. He taller yeah, too, right? Yeah, he taller now. Oh man, he way he younger and taller. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout you know out to him. But I just think it's dope to see um, this happen. Like we look at uh, Michael Jordan, you know what I'm saying? And his two sons, they didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you got LeBron, and I'm just not not to say that some some wild shit to say, but like um, we get to see a person that's considered the greatest person in the league kind of usher his sons into the league. Yeah, yeah. And, and, yo, and that, that's a per- this uh, uh, goofy ass tear had the the least goofy answer I've seen. Mm-hmm. Black men and their kids, we cared about that period, and that's yeah. a fact. Yeah. You know what I mean, like what you just said, like a father ushering a son mm-hmm. into the profession. I, I only thing I'm gonna correct you on is you said uh, Michael Jordan's sons ain't make it. Yeah. If they ain't make it in the NBA, in the NBA, they I can, I, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. So, so, so they they made it in a different, you know, yeah. world. Yeah. But 
it's great to see this right here. Yeah, you know I mean, like mm-hmm. even the LeVar Ball, Ball, Ball shit. Yeah. Like while everybody was making fun of him, he, he got two two sons in the NBA and one playing in Euros. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, the fuck. And yeah. he he just came out of nowhere. He he not Mike or or Kobe or fucking LeBron or nobody. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. All right, so moving on, right? We are gonna go from sports to music, right? And let me get this. Mike Sons was good. What happened? Somebody, yeah. somebody said MJ Sons were cool, just not on that level. I don't know. Yeah, I was already college players. They, they, ain't, they, ain't, they, they ain't look like they could play when I was looking at Space Jam. They ain't look like they want to play no ball. <laughs> All right, listen, right? So moving on, we're going to go from sports to music. Now, let me get into the proper introduction, right? Because I don't know how old some of y'all are or whatever y'all got into music, but Trap or Die was something major for me. Can't mm-hmm. ban the snowman. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Thug Motivation 101. If y'all don't get the hint, we talking about Young Jeezy and we talking about DJ Drama, okay? They're mm-hmm. getting back together to release a single this Thursday at midnight, which will be Friday, my fault. DJ Drama, Young Jeezy releasing a single Friday. Does this mean new Jeezy? Does this mean new Gangsta Grills mixtape? Either way, Jeezy and Drama dropping Friday, but do we care or not? Yeah. I care about this a lot, goddammit. I care about this a lot. For real? Let's yes. Go. Yes. Let's go. What's up? You, Happy you, birthday, do nigga. You, do you know how motherfucking uh, crazy the DJ drama run was? You know what I'm saying? DJ drama talking shit in the beginning of the record. Dr- 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 dramatic. You know what I'm saying? All of that shit. All of that shit that used to happen. Stop. Stop the song, 10 seconds in, start it over. I think it's that time, Jesus. Nah, he had that voice, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then she go time. silent. Oh. Mr. Thanksgiving! Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I had all of the yams. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, now, now, come on, now, man. Listen, DJ Drama got classic gangster girls, but it's them certain ones. You know what I'm saying? Trap or die. Dedication to... It's certain ones that's like culture shifting, culture changes. And when you see him get back with one of them artists, drama and Jeezy, damn they like Dre and Snoop. Yeah. Man, listen, I can't. I, Henny, how you feel? I don't want to talk too much. Uh, I don't, I'm not overly excited. Um, My bad, right? You should. <laughs> <laughs> Why, because he old now? You know what I liked? Huh. I liked when drama hosted the Dreamville mixtape. That was fine. That was fine. Yeah, I like I like that. Like it get yeah, you know I mean he he stepped into that new realm. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like some people don't like when the old mix with the new or the new mix with the old. That was a perfect blend right there. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I don't like when the old artists chase the old sound. You know what I mean? So I, I don't I, I don't want drama and Jeezy to chase what they used to do because then I could just listen to what they used to do. But you know what I mean? Up? I, I don't, so you I don't think Jeezy, like, you looking at it think, like it's like uh, much, Bird and um, not Bird, uh, Flip from uh, Butter Rim. They can't, they can't erase what we were from. In a no. sense, <laughs> they can't erase what and we the, were. And, uh, no, yeah, that no, they should look at it like that. Uh-huh. I feel like they should look at it like that. So, sometimes I feel like the artists sit back like, "Yo, what's missing?" Oh, when we did name one time it's worked. How about that? I'm gonna just chill right here and y'all just. Let me know. Name, name, name one record. time. Name one time. Hit collaborators, DJ and rapper, as specifically, and, or if you could do a different one, took ten years off and then did it again. Okay, I can't say ten years. I was just about to say Guru and Jay Z just now. But Man, nah. first of all, Guru is good. What Guru look like? Show me a picture of Guru. Exactly. So I'm Great talking about. Guru. I'm talking about a duo, like a do, like we can't. Come on. Uh-huh. Hey, listen. I got, I got you. I got you, right? Kill me. What's up? I Kill my you. whole point. F- Fab and Clue. Oh. That's an all? Oh. Fab and Clue? That's For Friday night mixtape. When when that came back, it was made. Dog, dude, this is the most underground nigga in the world. Do you know who he's talking about? Fab and Clue. Fab and Clue? Mm-hmm. Fabulous? But I don't know who. I wonder the last fat time you heard a Fabulous song. Okay, right, so what are we talking about here? Fab, Fab just dropped a song with the A. Marie sample. Him and Jim Jones got a song now. 
I, I, I I'm not talking about having a song out, bro. Oh, you mean like some crazy shit? I'm talking about a hit. I'm talking about okay. something something that that can compete with what they did before. Did you hear something from Fabulous and Clue that could compete with any of the shit they did back in 1999 to 2003? Soul tape. Oh, you talking about them two together? Them two together, yeah, because the soul tapes wasn't hosting. That's my point. That That's my point. Niggas, niggas find ways to do it separate, then they end up getting lost, and they be like, yo, you know what we could do? We could go back to the... It's never worked, bro. It's never worked, dog. It's never worked. Listen, I'm here. Am I tripping tonight? Let's read the Jay Z and B. You gotta get married to make this shit work. <laughs> you gotta get married, dog. This shit gotta be your wife, nigga. Hey, listen, hey, listen. Way. Hey, Gray and Snoop ain't married. What? 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 Uh, what did they do? That was ten years. That wasn't ten years. That wasn't ten years, and they don't got no new hits. A lot of people ain't got no new hits. I, I, look, my man Reezy said Khaled and everybody. Facts. Right, you got a point. You got a point. You got a point there. Okay, yeah. No, I, no, you don't. Fuck that. Colin and Drake and Colin and Jay Z and Colin and Rick Ross. Colin and everybody. And Colin and Chris Brown and Colin and Lil Baby. No, Lil Baby ain't got ten years. Yeah, he do. We just ain't known back then. Nah, Colin ain't got no shit. If that's the case, everybody got a hundred. Why does everybody say Foo Fighters? That's a whole group, bro. What? what? Foo Fighters. You just want us to know, like, what's like? You, you just do that out there. Dude, let me just put that in the atmosphere. <laughs> all, right, listen, all right, we we gonna move on because we can talk about music all night. We are gonna get into the next thing right now. Like I said, y'all, I'm here for all sophisticated ignorance, right now. Do y'all remember how crazy the world went when Popeye said, we got chicken sandwiches now? Yeah. Y'all, y'all remember this, right? The line was around the block. Every time you pulled up, you got mad and left. How long did it take you to get a, a Popeye's chicken sandwich for the first time? It took you about a month, two months. Y'all remember this? Right? I got connections. I'm going to try it, honestly. All right, so, I, know some, I know the right Mexicans. I don't, right, so know, I don't know how long it took. I, I was one of them niggas. I was like, I don't even want to taste that shit for real. No, no, I couldn't get that shit. I'm gonna go Chick Fil A. Right, so listen, with that being said, man, the chicken sandwich crazes back. Everybody got a chicken sandwich now, but now it's like beef though, because all these companies got social media too. So Wingstop announced oh, that yeah. they got chicken sandwiches too, and you can get them in all the flavors that's on the menu, right? So you know what? Buffalo Wild Wings said, hey, Slim, fuck y'all chicken sandwiches. <laughs> we, we got chicken, chicken sandwiches, sandwiches too. too. And you can no. get them in all the flavors that we, we got. So listen, Buffalo Wild Wings <laughs> said, spicy, hand-breaded chicken sandwich in any of our 26 sauces and seasonings. And then Wingstop says, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Because you ain't say the last line of the Buffalo Wild Wings shit. Oh. They- Oh, okay, so listen, spicy ham breaded chicken sandwich in any of our 26 sauces and seasonings, game over. No <laughs> hold on, hold on, let me read Beas- the other one. Beasley voice, let me, game let me over. Read, let me read the other one. Follow the innovators, not the imitators. Imagine trying your best to outdo our 12 signature flavors with 26 pathetic sauces and seasonings. <laughs> he got the lady from Popeye's voice right there. <laughs> he got the he got that accent. Yo, pathetic. Oh no, you ain't said the last line either. Nah, that oh, quality over quantity. What would you look at that? Them is now, bars, y'all. Wow. Now, hey, listen. it all goes down. <laughs> <laughs> It all goes down. <laughs> we hey, we gonna check the first week numbers next week to see who did what. I right, man, but listen. Now hold on, hold hold hold. Who we fucking with though? Hey, listen, Slim. I want to say that I've been to Buffalo Wild Wings more than I've been to Wingstop. I'm not gonna hold you. Huh? Not I don't know. You. I don't know. It, it, that do make me want a chicken sandwich right the fuck now, though. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, listen. One to ten, and who gonna win? <laughs> nah, that was, yeah, I, I care, though. I do care, because that made me right, hungry. So listen, I'm hungry. Listen. All right, so the chicken sandwich craze is back. 
Buffalo Wild Wings versus Wingstop. Everybody got a chicken sandwich and all the sauces that the restaurants sell. But do we care about the sandwich beef? Yeah, I care. Yeah, I, I got to say. Yeah, I care. You, you I care. And, I, and I like the Twitter shit, too. I don't care, man. I like burgers, bro. Oh, I don't know shit about an anime. I'm Ike Turner. <laughs> what the had to do with chicken and burgers? Nah, that's what JC said. He said, I like burners. I don't know shit about anime. I'm Mike Turner. Ray I Twins, what up, um? Who that in there? Oh, oh, Ray Twins. Yeah, I yeah. So, Henny, you, are, you gave your take on it, bro. Yeah, you yeah, take? yeah, yeah. All right, so listen, y'all. This is and has been the Do We Care portion of Very Fast Source for the day. I want to appreciate everybody that pulled up and engaged and commented in the earlier topics and also stayed and engaged and commented for the Do We Care segment as well. And as always, shout out to everything and everybody. Yes, Beth, man. And shout out to London Gym, man. Uh, we missed you and shit. This was real hard for me, and I'm not happy about yeah, it. And we used to having that third person right there, man. She she would have gave some incredible takes on all these topics tonight. I know she that. She probably would have she probably would have helped keep that whole RBE URL conversation under control and shit. Uh, king of the slicked up. Hey, call me Lord of the Chain, God of the wristwatch. Fashion be your movie. I'm. Put-